Welcome to the 2014 Atlanta Tribune Man of the Year Reception. Featuring our honoree, movie producer Will Packer. This is an exclusive interview with John Grant. Attorney Brian Poe at the Atlanta Business and Entertainment Exchange and Poe Simpson Law at the Georgian Terrace for the 2014 Atlanta Tribune Man of the Year Reception. And I'm honored to be here tonight with Mr. John Grant, CEO of the 100 Black Men. And what did you feel about the festivities tonight? Outstanding event. You know, the Atlanta Tribune has always been an impact publication in Atlanta, highlighting the work of African Americans and has been a tremendous source uh, for a number of people who've moved to Atlanta or those of us who are still here. So for them tonight to honor these distinguished men as, um, as influencers in this city, it's, you can't say enough about it. I'm really uh, impressed with what Pat has done with the publication and great crowd here tonight. So a wonderful event of which I'm proud to be a proud, happy to be a proud of. The magazine is great at doing is highlighting the work of organizations like 100 Black Men of Atlanta and certainly the work of distinguished men like those that were honored tonight. You know, Will Packer as Man of the Year, wonderful work that he's done in the entertainment industry and in the film. Really, really proud of him, and certainly my good friend Dikembe Mutombo, who was the man of the year last year, and all of the other honorees. You know, I know them all, and just to be a part of, of you know, their recognition, I think says a lot about the quality of individuals that we have in this city, and the impact that those individuals are having on the city of Atlanta. And the Atlanta Tribune, what, what better publication uh, than to highlight I agree with that. the work that that's, that, that's you know, taking place. I've seen 100 black men on the cover of Atlanta Tribune magazine, including for at least one of the man of, a, man of the year editions. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, I can't recall the year, but you know, we, we're honored again that... that uh, and I believe it was Greg Hawkins. That's correct. Okay. Um, was, and as well as uh, in a previous publication, they had several of our board chairs on there collectively, again, as men of the year for the organization. Okay, as big as Atlanta is and as deep as the talent is in Atlanta, why do you think Atlanta Tribune the Magazine continues to recognize the 100 black men? Well, the organization is comprised of some of Atlanta's leading uh, um, men. You know, our membership goes from Hank Aaron to Ambassador Young. I mean, it includes Mayor Kasim Reed. It includes um, the, both college presidents at, uh, at AU Center, um, CAU, as well as Morehouse College, and, and a number of C-level C-level executives. So, you know, when you look have men like that who are members of the organization, who are making impacts in the areas that you know where they work and where they're engaged, you can't help but to um, you know recognize what they are doing to really make a difference. And that's what our organization is about. And we're proud of the work that they do as members of 100 Black Men of Atlanta. That's awesome. And I have one last question. Will you be coming back for the 2015 Atlanta Tribune Man of the Year reception? I wouldn't miss it. All right. I'm with John Grant, CEO of the 100 Black Men of Atlanta at the Georgian Terrace for the 2014 Atlanta Tribune Man of the Year reception.